Alrighty, so today what we are gonna do is we are gonna test out the Bosch 12 volt two tool kit. So this kit comes with a 12 volt impact driver and a 12 volt drill. And so uh, from what I understand, it only comes with two two amp hour batteries, charger, then the two tools, then that's pretty much it. It might come with a bag, I'm not too sure. So let's unbox this, test these out and see how this actually can do. So I think this is on sale for $130 at Lowe's. It doesn't say brushless on them, so I'm gonna assume they're brush tools. And so yeah, let's unbox this and see what this uh, see what these could do. But the model number for the kit is CLPK22-120. So let's unbox these, see what these look like, see how these perform, and in the future, these are gonna verse the other brands that I have. Alrighty, so. Ooh, it comes with a bag, excellent. I do want a Bosch bag, so I, now I got one. I like that, I like that bag. Alrighty, so. We are gonna have to let these batteries charge as well. Very simple unboxing, not much to it. We have instructions and warranty. So three year tool uh, coverage, two year battery coverage, and uh, one call hotline number. Go we'll find print industry's best service and support program. I am not, I really don't use Bosch, so I do not know how their customer service is. If you know, please, uh, if you ever had bad experiences with the uh, Bosch company, please uh, put in the comments below. And so the charger is BC330, uh, uh, 4 volt to 12 volt max. So this is 120 uh, VAC, 60 hertz at, at 26 hertz, uh, sorry, 26 watts. Uh, output 3.6 to 10.8 DC with 1.5 amps. So yeah, it's a standard charger. It's, it's nothing special, but it is a charger that charges the batteries that the kit comes with, obviously. All right, so there is a power indicate, uh, battery indicator right on the tool, just like uh, Milwaukee. The drill, two speed settings, 20 point clutch plus one. And then, uh, the plus one is drill. So the model number for the drill, this is a long one or it's a short one. It's a long number with a space, so I do not know. Uh, PS313601H68112, 10.8 volts, 20 volt mass, so under a load, this is 10.8 volts. It's a, it's a metal chuck with a plastic housing, 3 8 inch chuck. It's had two speed settings, a first speed zero to 350, Speed two, zero to 1300. 1300 is not bad for a 12 volt drill. Speed one, speed two. And so yes, we're gonna put the, we're gonna let the, as soon as the battery's charged, we are gonna test this out. It's so for the impact, this is pretty much a fat boy. Variable trigger only. Battery indicator is on the body. This is model number PS413601JA6915, 10 point, uh, 10 point eight amps, 12 volt max. Variable trigger only, zero to 2600 RPMs. Quarter inch hex uh, collet. Uh, and it does not say anything about the torque. I'll find out what the torque is right now and the uh, impacts per minute. I'll put that in right now. But there you go, we are gonna let these batteries charge and we're gonna see how these actually perform. And I'm hoping that these are worthy to do versus videos against Makita, DeWalt, Milwaukee, Ryobi, Cobalt. So the whatever brand has 12 volt uh, tools. Alrighty, remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. Got mine right here. All right, so we got both batteries tr completely charged up. Got the impact. And the drill, battery is full, battery is full. All right, so we are gonna start off with, we're not gonna do some, we're not gonna do hardcore tests in this video. We're just gonna see what these can do with simple tasks. There we go, it's on drill, speed two. Let's see if this is capable of drilling a one inch spade, uh, spade on speed two. 
Now, like I said, I do not know if these are brushed, if these are brushless or brushed, it does not say. So we're assuming these are brushed tools. All right, so ready, go. Nope, it was speed one is required. There we go. We're gonna do that again. Go deeper, go in deeper. All right, so ready, go. That broke. And that one broke. All right, so right here. So ready, go. And it is time. All right, and uh, I am sorry, I do not know what size this is. There we go. All right, so we're just we're gonna do three holes on speed two. Let's see what it can do. All right, so ready, go. It's through. Let's try to go a little bit slower on speed two instead of just pushing it. There we go. Very good. All right, that is capable of doing that on speed two. Let's do speed one with a little bit of force. Very good. You know, do one more hole. Very good. Remember, we're using two amp hour batteries. I, I am not sure if uh, Bosch actually makes different types of batteries besides two amp hour. I'll do some research on it to see if they make more. So let's just do a quick little test. Yeah, this there's little holes in there, but I'm just curious if it's capable capable of doing it. There we go. That is locked in. We're gonna do it on speed one. That's good right there. Actually a little bit more like that. All right, so, no, oh, all good. It does not touch any of the holes. All right, so ready, go. No, we'll do speed two. Ready, go. time it did it it did it let's do a quick temperature reading on that 90 91 degrees 91 degrees not too shabby not too shabby at all it was easily capable of doing it, it took it took a little time but the motor did not overwork it did a fantastic job. Now remember, these are 12 volt tools cutting out three inch holes. That's phenomenal. Alrighty, so we still have two bars left on the two amp hour battery after doing that. So we are gonna do a timber lock and see how well this actually drives it in. Let's see what this can do. All right, it is on drill, speed two. All right, so ready, go. All right, speed one. Time. Mm, that motor smells good. After the warm motor gets warm, that smells good. All right, let's take it out. Let's see if we can take it out on speed two. 
Nope, it requires speed one. But it is capable of taking it out. It is capable of taking it out. Let's see what the temperature is on this. 88, 90, I got 99, 105. Got up to 105. Let's test out the impact driver. Is the collet push in? No, it is not. You need to adjust the collet. Variable trigger only. Once again, this is model number uh, PS413601JA6915. Yeah, that's a mouthful. Now let's do a timber lock. Let's see how well this performs. Let's see how, I'm curious at how loud this is. All right, so, oh, battery is full. So, ready, go. Time. All righty, so let's take this out. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, let's put a, uh, let's put a Spax in. Let's see how the Spax does. All right, we got a six inch Spax right here. Right there is good. Well, it's a little dense right there. You know what? Yeah, let's put this in a dense spot. Let's see how well it does. All right, so ready, go. Very good. It does have a tri LED beam, LED beam on the front, which very good. All right, let's take that out. All right, so ready, go. Very good. All righty. So, like I said earlier, earlier in the video, we are going to be testing these out against the other brands such as all of those, DeWalt, M M Milwaukee, Makita, Rid uh, Rigid. I am gonna be getting the Rigid 12 volt system soon, but uh, right now I'm gonna invest into Bosch. I'm gonna get more Bosch tools. It it's Bosch time. So are these tools worth the purchase? Yes. These are, uh, for, for 12 volt tools, these are more than capable of doing those jobs. So Bosch is a respected brand and I can't wait to, to really buy into it. Or is the tool coming up next for a lot of new tools that I'll be acquiring. So, so the battery is still full on the impact. It, it, these are cool little tools. I, I, like the, I like the color. I like how the, the blue is. So more videos coming up, endless videos. Like I said, this channel is only getting started versus videos coming up between these and, and the other brands. So please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. This is Dave and Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.